All right, so today we're gonna look at how to put on some caliper covers to make your car look a little more sporty and a little more European. Um, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, they all have the, the caliper covers colored. So uh, right now we, ha we have a performance edition, but we kind of, uh, it's a stealth mode because it does not have the performance rims or the red caliper covers that come standard on the performance. So the best thing we can do is start out just from scratch right here. We're gonna take off the covers that I've put on. These are, these are also aftermarket covers to make it look a little sportier when you don't have the arrow cover on it. Um, it gives it gives it more of a custom look than, than every other one out there that has the arrow cover on it. So these, these are pretty cheap. You can pick them up at Tesla and uh, take off the arrow cover, put these on. Comes with a center cap so it still says Tesla on it. Um, so anyway, what we're gonna do, before we, we jack the car up, we're gonna wanna loosen the lug nuts. Uh, you don't wanna do that after work. It becomes a little problematic when the car starts, the wheel starts spinning on you. Okay. All right, now we've got the car jacked up uh, on the Tesla Model 3. There's a hockey puck that we need to put in there. We'll call it a hockey puck. There's four lifting points on the, on the car so you don't damage the undercarriage. Um, take the tire off. Those are caliper covers, new ones. Now these are uh, these are not expensive, and they're very easy to install. Two clips. Tighten down the nuts by hand at first. And then before we, uh, before we go any further, I'm gonna put the tire back on and uh, loose, spin uh, two lug nuts on to kind of tighten it down, test the clearance. Because we don't wanna get through all completing this and have something rub that we didn't expect. All right, so we got the wheel on. I'm not gonna do this for a minute. Feel, feel more secure with three of them on here. Okay, we got, we got a good Good quarter inch clearance between it all. So we're happy with that. Go ahead and take the wheel back off and tighten that caliper cover down. these down. They have lock washers on them. Should keep them from slipping off during the movement. Absorbs the vibration there. Alright, then we'll put the wheel back on. Do the other three tires. 